Howdy YouTube, Mike Howell here for Naps, new age pipe smokers. Hope y'all are having a good morning, or whatever time of uh, day or night it is for you while you're watching this. Smoking some Bijou, one of my absolute favorites. I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but uh, first I wanted to tell you guys a story this morning. I'm a fan of uh, stories that are entertaining and have a useful message. And uh, I think this one fits the bill. It's the story of the sexy farmer. So, there's a, there was a therapist who lived in a small town in Illinois, farming town, and uh, one of his patients was a farmer, a rare breed these days, a small independent farmer who lived just on the outskirts of town, not like out in the middle of nowhere or anything, just on the edge of town. Now, the farmer, uh, he had started coming to therapy, which was something he didn't really want to do, but he was having a lot of problems, uh, specifically with his relationship with his wife. He loved her very much, but he didn't really know how to show it. And uh, it had been a long time since they had had any kind of intimate relations. They hadn't had sex in years. So uh, he's talking to the therapist about this and about how it makes him feel and, you know, it makes him sad and upset and expressing his desire to fix the situation so that you don't know what to do. And the therapist said to him, well, uh, think about your everyday interactions with your wife. You know, she, how, how, uh, how critical of you, of her are you? Do you, uh, do you speak kindly to her? Do you, do you do romantic things? Uh, you know what? What? What's the basis of your interactions? Most of them, aside from sex. And the farmer said, "Hmm." He sat and thought about it, and he said, "I, you know, I, I am kind of just critical all the time, and I, I'm always tired from working all day in the fields and maintaining the place. You know, it's hard as a small independent farmer." said I don't I don't know though I'm just I, I don't know what to do I wasn't raised this way I was never taught the uh, therapist said well you have to try and be more kind and loving towards your wife say nice things to her you know do do small things that show your appreciation and, uh, the farmer said well I'll try but it would really help if we could just have sex, Doc. I mean, just once, that would make me feel so much more romantic. And the therapist said, oh well. A lot of times women need romance. People need a little more affection to want to feel that kind of attraction. So when you try to initiate sex, you know, you need to, you need to be romantic. You need to, you know, do something to make yourself seem attractive to her. You know, do something sexy to attract her. The farmer said, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I could. I could totally do that. All right, thanks, Doc. And got up and walked out of the therapist's office. And the therapist said, you didn't make her a nice dinner. Or a... That was the farmer's third appointment. And his fourth one was scheduled for the next week. So the therapist figured, well, we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, the, uh, the farmer never came to his next appointment. The therapist was rather shocked when he turned on the uh, TV a couple days later. Onto the local news and saw the farmer on the news report being dragged away from his field. Completely naked except for a few interesting items. Apparently, uh, his only neighbor had called the police because 
she had seen him standing in his field on top of his John Deere wearing nothing but a g-string and a pair of nipple tassels that he was swinging in the wind while he danced on his tractor right on his John Deere as the cops were dragging him away almost completely naked from his John Deere he was screaming out, it's all that son of a bitch and therapist's fault. He told me to do something sexy to a tractor. Yep. I feel like there's a lesson in that. You know, a lot of times when we listen to people talk, we're not really listening to them. We're just listening so that we can respond or listening to what we think they mean because of our preconceived notions or uh, listening to what, for what we hope they're going to say. Very rarely do we actively listen to people and really take in everything they're telling us. So it's a good lesson. You know, if, uh, if someone's telling you something, listen to all of it. If you don't understand, ask for clarification. Otherwise, you might end up dancing naked on a tractor swinging nipple tassels around you can do that anyway if you want to I'm not going to judge you but it could get you arrested depending on where you live so anyway Bijou in my freehand corn cob I love this thing had it for a while Bijou is a really amazing blend of I want to say 2002 Virginia's or 2006 or so, I don't know, it's early 2000's Virginia crop. So it's already very mature before it's uh, pressed. And it's pressed with some Orientals and some honey. And uh, then sliced up into flakes, which true to uh, most Cornell and Deal flakes form, they kind of just fall apart in the tin if you move them around at all so it's almost a ready rub but not quite it's really good stuff it has a very aged taste right out of the tin because of how old the Virginias are but uh I can imagine this will only get more amazing with uh as the years stack up on it really smooth really tasty not overly sweet especially for something pressed with honey but it does have a good sweetness to it it's one of my uh favorite before breakfast smokes because of the it's all virginia with just orientals so the nicotine content isn't super high so if you know i wake up in the morning before i've had a chance to eat or anything and i just feel like having a pipe on the porch watching the sun come up she was a great option for that. It also makes a really great base to add little things to. Sometimes I'll throw a little perique in there with a, with a bowl and that's really good. Sometimes a little dark fired or a little burly. Never tried it with a pinch of Latakia, but I bet it wouldn't be bad. It's another part of the uh, Cornell and Deal Cellar series. But especially due to how old the Virginias are before it's even pressed, this tastes absolutely amazing straight out of the tin. Yeah. Well, I hope y'all have a fantastic day and an even better tomorrow. And remember when you talk to people, friends, neighbors, therapists, loved ones, employers, employees, the person at the gas station when they're ringing you out, the crazy homeless guy on the corner asking for change. Really listen to them. It makes a difference. And you probably won't get arrested for swinging nipple tassels around naked on the back of a John Deere if you practice active listening. Or if you do, at least it'll be a conscious choice and not a misunderstanding. 
see y'all later thanks for watching